Hi family, welcome into our broadcast of You Are Enough. I'm your host, Nikki. Before we dive into the video, we want you to subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos, and don't forget to jump over to our Instagram page at Nikki G. McCray and give us your support at Instagram. I want to thank you guys for supporting the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. I am so grateful. I mean, I am really, really leaping in my spirit with all the testimonials that you will have coming in by way of email, that that book is being such a blessing to you and to those you gifted that book to. Thank you guys so, so, so very much. Just remember that everything that you make happen for somebody, God's going to do much, much more for you. You may be getting attacked from the enemy, but it's not for the reason maybe that you think you're being attacked. You're being attacked from the enemy because you are so powerful. The enemy doesn't attack anybody who is not powerful. And the enemy does not come for people who don't have something priceless on the inside of them. You have so many jewels on the inside of you. You have so much earth and treasure inside of this vessel that God has given you. You're not being attacked because you're weak. Uh, society wants you to think you're being attacked because something's wrong with you. The kingdom of darkness, the devil wants you to believe that you are literally under attack because you've done something wrong, because something is wrong with you, because you are the weakest link in the chain. No, you are the strongest weak, strongest link in the chain. And when people disconnect from your life, they realize they were the weakest link. You are the strongest link in your family and the enemy is coming for you. They are the weakest link because God shows you to be the stronger link. God chose you because he wanted to choose you. It's not that you've done something so great. It's not that I've done something so magnificent, magnificent to deserve it. It's just by the grace of God. It's by the mercy of God. All the things that God is going to allow you to experience is by his mercy and it's by his grace. No one gets attacked by the enemy if they do not have priceless jewels. The jewel that you have on the inside of you is priceless. This is why you're under attack because you are so powerful. You're very powerful and you're a threat. You were a threat to somebody's promotion. Hear me, family. This is why some people sold you out who said they were your so-called friends. They sold you out because they saw you as a threat. But you were not supposed to feel as if something was wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you, family. God chose you, family to destroy the kingdom of darkness and you're going to destroy it. God chose you to walk into different places to change the atmosphere. When you walk in a room, you change the atmosphere. And when you leave that place, the energy goes down. When you're in the midst of people, you brighten up that room. You brighten up somebody's day. And the moment that you leave that person's life, the moment that you, you leave, wherever you are, everything changes darkness comes back because you are light and the enemy hates your light the enemy doesn't want you to show forth your light he doesn't want you to do that so what does he do family he sends you so much mayhem he sends you so many distractions so you can focus on these problems don't focus on your problem never focus on the problem because whenever you focus on the problem this is what's going to grow you are a threat you are a threat this is why the kingdom of darkness is coming for you. This is why the devil is annoying you. This is why the devil is frustrating you. This is why the devil is harassing you and getting on your nerves. This is why you've been opposed because you are a mere threat to the kingdom of darkness. But God said he gave you power. He gave you power to tread upon serpents. God gave you power and authority to trample over scorpions and over all the power of of the enemy. You have the power to destroy what's trying to destroy you. You have the power, family, to annihilate what is trying to come into your life, to take you out. You have the power. You have the authority. So what do you need to do? You need to use your principles. You got to use your kingdom keys. God gave you the keys. 
So use the keys. It's normal for, for people to think when things go wrong in their life that something is wrong with them. It's normal for people to think when you are up under attack that something is wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just chosen. You're chosen to do a great work. And the enemy wants to take you out. See, the enemy wants to take you out before you discover who you are. Before you discover your anointed, your call, your gifted, you're, you're the chosen of God. See, before you figure this out, before you actually figure this out, the enemy wants you destroyed. He wants you to self-sabotage your life, family. So you have to be careful in this season of your life. Be careful because you can't afford for distraction after distraction after distraction. You can't afford to fall for these things. You can't because you're never going to live out your purpose. You're never going to live out the call of God in your life. You're never going to be able to live out the things that God has for you. And this is what the enemy wants. Now you have discovered who you are. You better believe the enemy is going to come for you full force. He never wanted you to figure it out. But now that you've figured, now that you've figured out who you are, now the enemy is coming. He's coming full force. But when he comes, you remember what you hold. You remember what you house. You remember what God has given you. You remember that power. You remember the authority that God has given you. Step on his head. Crush his head. Crush the enemy's head. Stomp on his head, family. That's the authority. The head denotes authority and it denotes power. You've been given power to do that. You have. As God's anointed and as God's chosen, you have been given power. You got to thank God that you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. He sees your light. The enemy does not like your light. And he wants you to get entangled in things that's going to diminish your life. This is why he sends you all these crazy people in your life. This is why he sends you fake people. Because he wants you to act out of character so your good can be evil spoken of. God tells her, don't you let your good be evil spoken of. Don't put yourself in positions where people will not remember the good, but they're going to remember the bad that you've done. He tries every trick in the book. And he's going to use anybody that he can. Nobody is off limits to the enemy nobody he doesn't care who you are he doesn't care where you live he doesn't care if you're called the enemy doesn't care you are off you're not off limits when it comes to the enemy destroying you and the people that he will use against you he doesn't care he is all for division he's all for chaos but god said i'm not the author of confusion god is a god of peace the enemy doesn't break in a home where there is not anything he can gain from it. He's not going to go into anybody's house that has no treasure in it. If he's knocking at the door of your house, you have something that he wants. You have something of value. You have so much value and the enemy wants it. Cover yourself in prayer. Cover yourself in the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Be sober-minded and be vigilant and always remember you have an enemy. We know he's defeated, but he's not going to stop. The enemy is very persistent and his team is unified. God is so tired of the body of Christ being divided and it's the enemy that's doing a good job. Unfortunately, the enemy is doing such a good job of dividing God's people and ministries. He's doing a good job dividing homes, families, children, brothers and sisters against one another we have to come together we have to be unified we have to be as one you know how much we can get done when we unify you know how much can't get done when we are divided the enemy knows this you are a threat this is why he's coming for you this is why your family members keep treating you like a step person this is why your family and your friends treat you like you don't even exist because it knows the hurt but from this day forward, I want you to see God in everything that you go through with, even when people disown you, even when people don't treat you well, even when people reject who you are. I want you to see God in it because God has a purpose behind your rejection. God has a purpose behind your pain. And when you come out of this storm, when you come out of this wilderness experience, you're gonna understand more of why you were the one that had to go through the most. 
because many are called, but few are chosen. To whom much is given, much is required. God has given you so much on the inside of you, and the enemy never wants you to give birth to it. See, this is why God is setting you aside. This is why God is pulling you apart from people. This is why God is sanctifying you and removing certain people from your life family because he cannot afford to jeopardize what he put down on the inside of you. And God is not going to let you self-sabotage what he put on the inside of you. You remember that. Why are you under attack? Because you're a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You are a threat to hell. You are a threat to Satan. You are a threat to the devil. He wants your treasure. Don't let him take it. Just remember this, that not a weapon that formed against you as God's child will ever prosper. I don't care what they sin. I don't care what spell. I don't care what word curse. It'll never, ever benefit them the way that they think it would benefit. You're still standing. Hashtag that. I am still standing. I am still here. You may get knocked down, but you're going to get lifted back up. It doesn't matter. And you haven't fallen until you just succumb to the storm. When you succumb to the trials and the temptations of the enemy, you've fallen. But God said, I'm going to pull you up, not by might nor by power, but the spirit of the living God. Thank you for tuning in today. We're praying for you. Thank all of you for your acts of kindness. Thank you so much for being a part of our life here. We love you. God bless you.